When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive Until the day they made us prisoners before we begin tonight's shitty St. Patrick's Day movie Leprechaun in Space I want to try a little experiment Sister Evil and I have been working on and what kind of experiment would that be exactly don't ask man I don't even want to know because every time he has an experiment we end up wearing tinfoil hats or getting hypnotized. We should just watch whatever damn movie it is, because to this day, we still bark every time someone says Ghoulies 4. <laughs> see? See? We were doing it. Yeah, and even Master Evil barked that time. He never gets his experiments right. He's a dum-dum. Yeah, Master Evil, I hate you, and you torture us, but as a... Whatever, you should really take a pass on this one, man. Oh, no such luck. Joshy boy, I have worked tirelessly on this one, and it will be my greatest feat ever. I'm going to switch your brains. Didn't we do that before? Alex will become Josh, and Josh will become Alex. <laughs> I hit the switch now. Blast it! No, did you hear my evil laugh finish yet? Oh, I'm sorry. As you were. <laughs> oh. oh, forget it. The moment's gone. Hit the switch. Okay, here goes. <laughs> I told you, Alex, Master Evil doesn't know what he's doing. Quiet, prisoner. Whoa, wait a second. Why am I in your body? That's some funny shit, man. Hey, Josh, do you see any controls to free me? I mean, do you see any controls to free us? No, not yet, but listen to this Google search history. Remember, I'm Master Evil in Josh's body, and I say, no, don't do it. Ma! How to make your prisoners respect you in five easy steps. Is Freaky Friday something that can actually be done? Stuff Cat National Championship. Oh, and Alex, listen to this browser history. How to derive an idiot crazy in one step. Click here. How to make an idiot crazy in one step. Click here. How to drive an idiot crazy in one step. Click here. And it goes on for like 10 clicks. But ser seriously, can you, can you fucking find something to free us? Let me see, I'm looking. Sister Evil, help! How do I know which one of you to shoot? Which one of us to shoot? We don't look identical or anything, we just got our brain switched. What do you mean, shoot us? Are you crazy? Oh, you, oh my god, you imbecile! Ma, help! I used the Freaky Friday switcheroo device, name pending, on oh, Alex and Josh, and now Josh is gonna find the release switch. Help me! Oh no! I'll use the master control and fix this right up. Josh, will you hurry things along here a little bit? She's going to use the master control. Oh, my God. Did you find the release switch? 
No, but you will never believe the porn he watches. Let's just say Flivel isn't the only stuffed animal on his radar. Ma, hurry! Here goes nothing. Hitting the switch now. Josh, will you quit fooling around and just release us before the switch works? Crap. Sorry, Alex. Shit. I didn't have enough time to actually save us. I tried. You had plenty of time. You spent your entire time as Master Evil making jokes at his expense, and now we're absolutely screwed. Yeah, it was fun. There, son. All better. Now maybe you should torture your prisoners. It's getting late. Indeed. <laughs> now to make you watch the worst Leprechaun movie, and that's saying a lot. This film wasn't even a leprechaun movie. It was a shitty alien ripoff that Trimark shoehorned the leprechaun into for some ungodly reason. No rhymes, no leprechaun lore, and Warwick Davis spends half the movie talking to himself. <laughs> no. I refuse. I'm not watching one more shitty film. Huh? Did I miss anything? I was watching. I mean, I was sleeping. Oh, hey, Alex. Want to play more high ho cherry on Appalachian Mountain Rules? Never mind. Uh, never mind. Start the movie. Open the fucking vault. Open the vault. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, see, that looks like we're going to see a good movie. Those are probably the best graphics in the, the whole film. They just opened the gate to the shittiest movie ever made. We think we're in heaven, but we're not. <laughs> and then it says Trimark Pictures. <laughs> well, hey. At least we got Willow in the movie, right? Leprechaun 4. In some, of War some of Warwick Davis' best on-screen work, people don't even know about it. He was in uh, Return of the Jedi. Hey, check it out, man. We, uh, we got some footage from uh, Star Fox 64 here. It almost uh, looks like um, like the beginning of Critters or something. Shh, he's going to make us watch those if you're not careful. Ah, it's too close! Okay, a spaceship just appeared in space out of nowhere. It's the Event Horizon. Definitely Star Fox. Hey, take a look on the side of that. See if that's Elon Musk's. Does that say Tesla on the side? Starlink. I was so disappointed. I saw that in the sky one night and thought I saw a UFO. It was so big. I was disappointed to find out it was nothing. So that's okay. what happened to Rick Moranis' shrink ray. Here comes our cliche space marines. Hey, it's a Dexter's neighbor from season four of Dexter, Mr. Forehead. No, these guys are looking these guys are looking for a carnosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's, uh, yep, there, there's Miguel. Oh, we got our badass marine chick. I've seen like only, four people throw grenades around. The only thing I've seen some of these guys in before this was a couple episodes of uh, Red Shoe Diaries that used to come on Showtime after, like, 11 o'clock at night. And no one is allowed to fix their makeup on the side of my head. 
Is this what Kano was doing before he went to compete in Mortal Kombat? Yes. This is his back. This is his origin story in space. <laughs> Kano in space. It's five hundred million dollars. You know, I don't have to say half a billion. Five hundred million dollars. Oh, Space Marine nipples. No shit. My my manager has got me in the wrong goddamn movie. You're right. I'm going to go find another one. She's like, I'm just looking for the Marine bathroom. How does that cheer go again y'all were doing? Semper Fi, do or die, kill, 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 right? Mm Mm-hmm. Semen samples of the alien. No, I'm not collecting bullshit. I'm collecting alien samples. Dr. Evil on meth. Assistant. Why does that artificial intelligence on screen look so upset at the sergeant? <laughs> why is his name Doctor Mittenhand? Why do, and why does the why does he also? He seems like he has his own agenda, but he's not. A, is that a real person or is that just AI? I guess we're gonna find out. You got your orders, sir. No pickles on mine. Remember that. Star Fox 64. I thought that was the spaceship trying to take a dump. I thought that was the butthole of the ship. That looks like Rogue Squadron to me. Like, remember that game, Star Wars Rogue Squadron? I do not. I never played that game. What, a a life preserver? What is that? It's not going to protect her from bullets. Did they just hit There's some space the turbulence? Yes. The universe was putting these two together. These star-crossed lovers. Who the hell was in charge of her eyebrows for this film? She looks surprised in every scene. The eyebrow budget was uh, very low. Meanwhile, in the genie's lamp, what what is this? I can't tell if she's scared or... My name is Bond. (laughs) So did he stop at uh, the the space station slash tuxedo shop? I don't know, but if he gets any space stains on that space tuxedo, he's going to lose his deposit. I don't know if she's got spikes on that bra or that's just like several nipples. I'm not sure. Where do you want me to take it? I'm glad that we have this scene to remind us that this is a movie in space. (laughs) The spaceship's trying to get out of the movie. Dude, that looks like the beginning of, like, a 1997 Scientology propaganda video. Oh, the religious futuristic space marines. <laughs> or serious... And fleshlights only. <laughs> and or, or, instead of just flesh wounds, maybe there'll be terrible, terrible cranium wounds. Uh, but if there's enough metal, we'll be fine either way. Amen. Or at the very, very worst, maybe just superficial paper cuts. And Lord, may our 
May our managers get us into a better picture. Definitely not Leprechaun in the Hood. Amen. I thought that she went into the wrong room. I thought she wasn't part of the squadron. Now they're just suiting her up. <laughs> I'm lost here. She's been sent there to collect alien specimens. The Burger King. King of Munchkin Land. She has said nothing about his appearance at all. She kind of she kind of did non verbally with her eye rolls when she when he said he wanted to be a king. Oh, they're going on a they're on a training mission at the local laser tag arena. No, that's the freaking view outside of our cells. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no one's going to be able to top that zinger. Eminem just happens to be watching this movie. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Asshole. ICP. Inner City Posse got the dog beats. ICP got the dog beats. I have no idea. Well, that can be arranged, my dear. They make fun of Nightmare on Elm Street for, like, late during the series, they reveal more and more of, you know, Freddy throughout the series. Yeah. In this, in this movie, this is part four of the Leprechaun series, he's having a full-on formal dinner in a tuxedo. In <laughs> with space. A princess. Yeah, in space, in the first his, first scene. His rhyming is horrible, man. In this one. He's lost his he's lost his passion for the game. He needs a ghostwriter. Oh, laser tag. Lucky, this guy's doomed. If his name is Lucky, he's so doomed. <laughs> They're playing airsoft right now. I said hit, damn it. Semper Fi, try, try, try. For being in this movie. She's probably the only princess that had to do her own hair and makeup on a major motion film set. Man, I really don't want to be in last place on the laser tag scoreboard this time. Is gold. Oh, there's some rhyming. It's the same word, but it's close. The golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. This guy. Shitty movies. This guy right here is supposed to be... Sigourney! This guy right here is supposed to be a elite space uh, space marine. But he went into that room like he was Vern from Stand By Me when he had the gun. <laughs> and he had to watch the camp. But I didn't shoot the gun. Check for magnets. Please, please, please check for magnets when you're in there. At least the film's accurate. Those torches were pretty short, so the leprechaun was able to lie on <laughs> Or, yeah, or at least he may, might have had a step ladder, a space step ladder. <laughs> Dude, that stuff's not even real. He just, a while ago, that was like a five course mill. Remember, this is lucky, so. 
He's definitely going to live through the whole movie. Were those like golden reverse. pretzels? So you're saying his name Lucky is a reverse nickname then? Because he's not going to be Lucky? <laughs> like when you call Fat Guy Tiny? Oh, I get it. It's funny because they're in space and he has a a light shillelagh. <laughs> so, hold on one second. Did they? That's a blatantly supposed to be a lightsaber. Did... Did they just assume that George Lucas would just never see this film and therefore never sue them for copyright infringement? They're like, no one, he's never going to see this. This movie. He's never going. Nobody's ever going to watch this shit. Yeah, no one's going to see this. We're fine. And, never get sued. In their defense, it was a light shillelagh. This isn't fair, man. This is like playing uh, 007 Bond for Super 64 and someone's odd job. It's always so hard to shoot him because you had to pull, aim down. Hey, he pulled a, a Child's Play 3. He was a hero all along. That was easy. Movie over, right? And we need to find her something to wear. Because that's her biggest concern. She deserves it, you know. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I thought that Detroit joke was going to be the funniest part of the movie. He'd probably get... Discharged for that? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I got, but I got to hand it to him. That was pretty funny. Wow, these are the most professional space marines I've ever seen. Yeah, what kind of training did they go through to become these elite space marines? They seem like the they don't know what the hell they're like, doing at all. Oh no, he's going to get a kidney leprechaun now. Those things are really hard to pass. Nobody sees this. <laughs> hey, Sarge, the leprechaun's head was just smiling and winking as if he knows something we don't know. Ah, fuck it. Back to Star Fox. She definitely deserves something to wear. Gonna fly our really bad CGI back to the planet. Alex, look what look what happens when when Harold's busy and he gets interrupted. I think we've lost Alex. No, you haven't. I just... <laughs> I'm taking in this film. You haven't lost me. If that guy... The, the guy right there that she was playing with the spider... Um, why does he seem so put out when he has to actually do his job? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's fully committed to being on a fucking spaceship to go to work. And when he actually has to do something, he just is totally pissed off about it. What the hell? Oh, because he's wearing cowboy boots, right? Is that why I look down? So, that scientist is wearing purple, therefore he's a homosexual. Is that what the, <laughs> the underlying uh, meaning right there is? I don't know, because he was excited about, you know, collecting the bodily fluids from the princess, so... Cowboying? Why is she casting judgment on him for being a space marine when she literally became a space marine last scene? Hmm. 
I want <laughs> I'm going to need some of those refreshments to make it to this movie. When you thought that you lost me, I just actually blacked out <laughs> from watching this. I lost consciousness. <clears throat> the pixels, the pixels. I wonder if he's ever used that on himself. That's why he's such a man of, you know, such small stature. He accidentally struck himself. He wanted a bigger dick. <laughs> and he wanted to get it wet. There you go. Hey, if you're keeping score at home, Slashaholics, Josh just said the magic word. Wait until Josh makes a Trump reference, and then you can say bingo. <laughs> it's very bigly of you. Very bigly. Very bigly of you. There you go. Let that go. Very bigly. Bingo. <laughs> you know who the? You know who he looks like? Who Kano kind of looks like? Josh. Who? He looks like Sean Hunter's dad. Oh my god, yes. A little bit. Sean Hunter always had those crazy stories about his dad, what his dad did. This was one of the true ones. Yeah, he was a space uh, Navy officer before he became a janitor. You better do what Dr. Mittenhead so says. Says so. I've always really wanted to go to a space disco. Well, they said it was open for refreshments, drink in moderation. Okay, so there's one Space Marine female and, like, six. Oh, I'm sorry, five. Lucky got cut down to size, so. Game over, man. Game over. She's like the Smurfette of space, of the space military. I don't really have a protective glove. If it's that size, just go to that machine and throw it a little bit. I can just imagine the people on the other side of that door, like, pushing it shut, you know? Oh, my God, it's Tig from uh, Sons of Anarchy there. Kim Coates. There must Dollar not be any Kim ice. Coates. There must not be any ice in space. Where we're going, we don't need ice. So they're in space. So if he blows a load, does it just like float up into his face? Yes. Spoiler alert, I have seen this movie before, and this one is going to... This, 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 this one's going to hurt. And the Rippers have gone quiet. She looks like the gal who replaced Pamela Anderson on Home Improvement for Tool Time. Is that the same lady? Possibly. I have to see the chest again. He's not talking about his dick. He actually has a pet snake. Dude, his hair, like, his sideburn line is, like, all the way to the top of his ear. I used to do that by accident when I was, like, in sixth grade. I'd, like, accidentally cut my sideburns, like, off-centered. And I'd have to just keep going higher and higher. Tell him I didn't have sideburns anymore. He did that. This is going to hurt, man. This scene's going to hurt you. Yeah, you did that. <laughs> this is the worst case of blue balls we've ever seen. So instead of aliens with a chest buster, it's a dick buster. <laughs> it's a dick buster. And listen to the music. Dick. 
That leprechaun is a real dickhead. Well, how would that have helped? So he just shot out of him like he was a load being shot out. <laughs> That's her reaction? Oh no, he's a cowboy sheriff now. Gonna rip out of everybody's dick. Wait, she's got a laser gun and he's got a six shooter? Okay. So he had the six shooter on when he came out of that guy's dick, too. Yeah, man. This is. This movie's got it all. She's like, is it karaoke night? Who's up next? Can I add my name to the list? Hey, you want to do Summer Lovin'? I think, uh, his, I think Miguel really was sucks. typecast at this point of his career. He was always going to be a space, uh, you know, space merchant or space Navy warrior, whatever the hell. Who is the leprechaun talking to? He's totally monologuing, but he's, he, he, <laughs> he just came out of a dude's penis. Like, let him, t- let him talk out his situation first. He's disoriented. I guess his name is Agony. That's what he said. I always wondered what his name was. And Agony sounds about right. Coming out of a dude's dick, man. There's no other word for it. Why are they sitting on the other side of the bar like a bartender served them? Craft services. Dude, those cups they're drinking out of look like the cups that every person buys back in the late 90s when they get their first apartment <laughs> at Walmart. At the 99-cent store. Yeah. And then they have silverware that has the freaking plastic handles at the end. Get us something futuristic-looking, guys. AKA, I would like to play Cowboy and... Oh, that was that was so cute. They're such a cute couple. I hope they go all the way. Her eyebrows are seriously the disturbing me. They go up in a complete V, like an upside down V. They're trying to escape her face. She's she's very pretty. Did he just like fart? That would look like a fart face. Guys, you're never going to believe what happened. Did a leprechaun come out of your boyfriend's dick? Great. How, 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 how would you know that? Out of all of his powers, tripping her. That's, that's what he goes for. Wait, does he have metal? Is he wearing a metal cup? So he, Who the fuck he is looks, he talking to? He looks straight into the camera. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with being a damn space marine. I'll tell you what. Simple five, baby. Space marines for life. Hoorah! So you signed up for this movie, too? Oh, yeah, yeah they told me it was an alien movie whenever I signed up. I thought it was an alien sequel, but Leprechaun in Space. So, oh, yeah, absolutely, I signed up. I'm trying to keep my SAG card. Okay. <laughs> Some damn good sex if a girl comes busting out the door like that. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Dr. Mittenhand. She's having a wet dream. 
Oh, they grew her hand back. Okay, that's kind of cool. They can grow her hand back, but they can't grow back the hair on top of this fucking guy's head in the future. In the space. Yeah, they can't. his metal head. Yeah, well, that dude's head and this freaking guy's hair. A knee fetish. Okay. She's got glitter all over her legs. And her torso. Did he say yes? Was he like, was he, was he expecting her not to have a belly button? <laughs> what, is this guy's, is this Dr. Weinstein? What the hell is he touching her for? <gasps> Never seen one of these. I've heard of them. It's Jason Voorhees' sister. Every time I see this guy, Dr. Mittenhead's head, I just think of the Nintendo game Fester's Quest. Yes. I actually like that game. AKA, dude, <laughs> AKA one of the hardest fucking Nintendo games ever. I game genie that the, the boss fights her against the aliens. <laughs> yeah, that game is really hard. I will tell no one that her hand came back, even though if they see her, they're definitely going to see her hand came back. And I won't tell nobody about your really, really, really bad stuff that wouldn't fly in a movie right now in 2022. I won't tell anyone about your sexual assault you committed on the regenerated body parts that we have just created in space. Or your knee fetish. Just karate, like that's a very, it's a very vague statement. You can't take the day off. Doctor Mittenhand said, "No one is leaving this ship." This is the elite of the elite Marine crew that they sent to space, and all they're thinking about is fucking each other and making wisecracks at each other. <laughs> Send him that, that pervy doctor guy. You didn't bring me my milkshake when I did. They should send in her eyebrows first, just to take a look around. Any Dexter fans, that one guy is literally the guy from Dexter Season 4 that tries to hook up with Rita. I cannot believe he's in this movie. Hey, I, hey Josh, did, did you hear that those suits those guys are wearing right, now, right there was actually uh, what we were supposed to wear, wear when COVID first struck? Really? Yeah, absolutely. People bitching about wearing a little piece of cloth over their face. I can't imagine this. Yeah, that was supposed to be what everybody's wearing. I actually saw what? someone driving down the street in one of those. I thought he why was have, why have Why has nobody who complains about the mask ever went into a store shirtless and been like, I have a right to not wear a shirt in here. It's the law. <laughs> you can't tell me not to wear a shirt. Why is he wearing a suit? Yeah, he's magical. And why is his light shillelagh now a blade? Alex, it's a yeah. it's it's a Swiss Army shillelagh. <laughs> I'm just fascinated knowing that all these weapons he has also came out of that guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Because he had all, he had the six shooter. He's got the light shillelagh. He's got the switch shillelagh. A six shooter, a badge. Yeah. yeah, came right out of that dude's cock. He's got magical powers. He could literally just stay in one section of the place and just kill everybody with the wave of his hand. I know. That's I. I I get lost in that thought process, too, with, like, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I'll be like, Freddy literally could just destroy this teenager right now. He could rip him apart 
No problem. But instead, it's just all about the hunt for him. So in the 21st century, the way they destroy organic waste is is apply flesh-eating viruses to it. We can't go to the bathroom. Why not? Because we don't have any Ebola to put on the shit. <laughs> That was a good rhyme. Oh, these guys are stormtroopers. If this guy is a skeleton and nothing else. Oh my god! (laughs) Uh, How do you know it's Mooch? Did you identify his fucking dental records? It was the forehead. He had like a huge forehead. Did you see that Space Marine statue back there? Mm Mm-mm. There's another one. Oh, I see it now, yeah. Pencil neck geek. I thought he was going to say, before I jerk you off. (laughs) Before I climb in your body and rip myself out of your penis. You better give me that... Whatever I need before I jerk you off in front of God and country. Oh, you're about to get to meet Dr. Mittenhand in the flesh, man. This is great. The creature, not the leprechaun. Is that what we're calling it now? So they work for Dr. Mittenhand there. You're ahead on a screen. And woman. Well, everybody but you. You're in at least two pieces. Why doesn't why doesn't he just unplug Dr. Mittenhand? Then he doesn't have to listen to him anymore. You're about to find out. Unplug his ass. Here comes Dr. Mittenhand, man. <laughs> it's R2 R2 D bag. Dr. Mittenhand is the world's largest hover round. Exterminate, exterminate. (laughs) That is horrible from the back. So Dr. Mittenhand shaves his head with his one working arm, apparently, unless he's that bald, I guess. I don't know. It's a speak and and say or whatever it is. Mr. Speak and Spell? (laughs) Yeah. This movie sucks, dick. Look at those stars behind him out in space. Those look like the stars that you'd put on, like you get a pack of them for 99 cents at the store, (laughs) and then you'd have your mom put them on your ceiling so they'd light up at night. Hey, if you look really closely and squint your eyes, Josh, the stars in the back uh, turn into uh, the form of a mitten. Oh, mitten hand. I get it. Yeah, they look like a mitten. That's definitely the same. That's definitely him from behind. Not a horrible, horrible prosthetic. 
I will keep hitting with my controls until I die. How does he go to the bathroom? Does he eat? You're about to hear a joke about that. Half a head. Which is only a penny, so you'll get a buck. I'm doing it for my ex-boyfriend's dick. You're not a Marine. Your hair is way too long, sir. Well, look at Matt in here. That's about 80% of gross. Does the, does the sergeant have to pay for a full haircut whenever he goes to the barber? Or does he just pay half off? He gets a polish. No, you won't. This is this is great. If <laughs> there's your answer. Well, he still has to go. I mean, does he? Does he have to eat? If he does eat, where does the waste go? <laughs> can we can we can we nickname him R two D bag? He's actually the villain of this film, as far as I'm concerned. I want the leprechaun to slaughter him. No, it's not the leprechaun, it's the creature. It's been like 20 minutes, it's time for the leprechaun to talk to nobody in particular. The leprechaun looks at the screen like Saved by the Bell and says, time out. Oh, he did it. Okay. He's the he's the narrator. He's legitimately just talking to the audience right now. Sounds like he's talking like he's in Spartacus. He's going for a Tony big time here. <laughs> he's monologuing his ass off. He said his money's going to, it's going to end up going for feminine pleasures, and he doesn't even know about the pink tax shit, man. She's like, what? What, what was that? Did you say funeral? I might not go out with you if you're thinking about killing me already. <laughs> See, you could just kill them all. <laughs> it ain't working? Yes, it was. Poor Miguel, man. He he went from being in some of the best movies ever to, to this pile of shit. I know, like Carnosaur 2. <laughs> he went from the heights of Carnosaur 2 to Leprechaun 4. And then Joanna Man followed soon after. Who played Batman in uh, the Dark Knight trilogy? What was his name? You're saying he looks like a cheap Christian Bale. <laughs> yes, he looks like a cheap Christian Bale. <laughs> I, dollar, that's dollar funny. store Christian Bale. Dude, I had the same exact. He's the store brand Christian Bale. The Quaint. He's Sam the two Shorts. of Christian Bale's. Wait, plot hole. The locator was broken, I thought. Why does he have to hold the gun and the locator? What the hell is she doing? Why is she holding anything? Because she's got to hold that ass. Yeah, she's got to hold... <laughs> Gravity's got to hold that ass up, son! <laughs> and this is how you are going to dispose of my sheet? We must give you an oil change, Dr. Mittens. Ooh. Thank you for scraping that dry gum off my finger. Oh, she's a blue blood. She's a cop. The princess, that's her blood. I'm colorblind. It's probably purple or green or some shit.
Okay. All right. Hold on one second. Just got fingered. This, that looked like when Alex Mack would turn into a blob and turn into a human on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Or see, there's so many origin stories here, man. That's where she got her powers. Yeah, the secret uh, GC GC one sixty one. I can't remember what the name of it was. What GC one sixty one? Is that what it was? The chemical? I think so. Remember oh, in the first episode when she first does it, she's like naked behind something, and from then on, like she's in clothes after that because of all yeah. the complaints. <laughs> they would they would never <clears throat> get away with that nowadays on Nickelodeon. <laughs> A teenager turns into a blob, comes back into human form, naked behind, like, a, a dresser or something. This episode 2 comes out, and she does it, and she's fully clothed every time. Man, Larissa, Larissa Olnick, or Alaniac, or whatever however the hell you said her name, that was, like, one of my first legitimate crushes in life, was her. Well, yeah, you got to see her naked in the pilot. No, it was just, she was fine, man. And then she was in the Babysitter's Club, the movie, when it came out. And the Cranberries were... Yeah, the movie, behind. not the actual Babysitter's Club. The movie, the movie, movie. Whenever I put on my Batman suit and kick your ass. What was the this point is, of that? I don't know. They they their attempt at comic relief. Why I felt like I was watching a freaking WWE Raw skit right there. It's like we're short on racism in this movie. Can we get can we get like at least five seconds in? They're like, Miguel, you know how you're like a really decent actor in like almost everything you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we need you to do the opposite of that <laughs> for this film. Whatever you normally do that's really good, don't do that in this movie. Dude, they need this payday, Josh, because they don't even have technology to hook the flashlight to the fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> most most elite military units have like a light, you know, flashlight on their gun. You know, they're actually holding yes. a fucking flashlight, like I had in my house in 1987. This is, this is the discount space. And Tina, you're, and you're taking freaking life. fine as hell, and I'm trying to kill this creature, or leprechaun, or whatever the hell, and I have a, a massive erection this entire time. Can you please just leave me alone? You smell and the last so time a guy on this ship got an erection, a leprechaun came out of his dick, so please, please yeah. stop, Alex. Yeah, we know erections lead to death in this film. Get the hell out of here. Those right, handcuffs, handcuffs came out of guy's dick, too, apparently. <laughs> See, his rhymes just suck in this movie. So My life's needs, over. I've got hey, handcuffs on. If he needs a key, does the key also come out of the leprechaun's dick? <laughs> you better jerk off right now and get that key out of your tiny leprechaun dick right now! Why didn't the leprechaun just put another set of handcuffs on the guy as soon as she exactly. broke that one? Or He's like 20 feet away from the flames. Ah! Can't he just, like, like doesn't, can't he levitate himself and, like, morph himself and shit? And there's, like, 20 feet behind him to the wall. Why is he standing that close to the flame? <laughs> I'm a Marine. That's what I do. Drops her over the edge. <laughs> ah! <laughs> poor, poor choice of words, Batman. Let her go, Joker. That's a little bit of uh, space sexual innuendo right there. Spectual innuendo? Yeah, you guys are all killers. You've killed the entire audience 45 minutes into this shitter. 
That's it. Shit. <laughs> Thought we were over halfway. No, we're not. And also, do you think those green lighting in the back are just like because the budget's so cheap? Are those just glow sticks that you break that they give to you at like the skating rink? Yes. Just a bunch cheap. of them taped together. He even admitted cheap ass equipment. <laughs> And take a shower so you don't got no stinking ass no more. His fight or flight kicked in. He's a hell of a badass. What a Marine, that guy. This is supposed to be Batman? What the hell? Imagine if Batman saw the Joker and he's like, shit, I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah, fuck that. Bye. Joker's chased him. (laughs) Fuck that. He's pulling a Freddy Krueger. Did the hard hat come out too? Yeah, and it's fine. It's fine. He's got extra fingers that also came out of that guy's cock. And a pair of shears. He's got the hard hat on for safety, but he doesn't have any high viz. Where's his vest? He was scared of fire a second ago. OSHA's like, all right, he's kind of following the rules. That's it. That's what we're trying to take you out. It's the singing. I gotta get back to Gotham City. They need me. I'm after Robin, the little dick. That was a dad joke. Batman and Leprechaun sounds good. <laughs> this this fucking guy is about to sell out his entire unit. Which 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 of the hundred pipes are you talking about? That's, dude, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like that's when I do a fr- like when I do food delivery sometimes. You'll go to an apartment complex and it'll say like unit 452, you know, next to the beam, you know, <laughs> and you'll be like, uh, fucking what beam? Give me a building letter for God's sake. Um, his row fell flat. Hey, where's your hard hat go? Is he just leaving this shit laying around when he's done? Costume change? He's a quick change artist. What is what is okay? What is all the the blue stuff? Is that the blood from the princess? Yes, she's a blue blood. I think I fucked up. I think I just injected her with uh, twenty cc's of uh, blue raspberry Kool Aid, and uh, yeah, I think we're fucked. I'll tell you how much Capri Sun will take out of her. Squeeze it. Why are we taking frozen Mr. Freeze Icy Pops from the skating rink out of her body? Unfrozen? I can grow back my body. How come Pepsi Blue, flat Pepsi Blue is coming out of her veins? The human race, I want to rejoin it. Or the amazing race. Yes, I let Trump technology do the work on me. Don't look at me. Look at me. Okay, all right. He wants to use her blood to to regenerate his body. Okay, I got it. Oh, <laughs> it only took over half the fucking film to figure out a plot.
He's like, I'm sick and tired of being half a Dalek. We gotta hurry before Doctor Who shows up in the TARDIS. Jason from Jason X comes flying by the window. <laughs> Still burning up. All the in space movies get mixed together. Yeah, they're like, oh, Pinhead shit. shows up. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this this is the inside of one of uh, the puzzle boxes. This is the sights he wants to show us. This is our hell. We voted you out, chick. I just hit a bunch of random buttons on the wall. Did it work? Honestly, this movie could be over in 20 seconds with all the powers he has. Now, come over here so I can kill your ass. See, it's not that hard. Rhyme. Uh-oh, he's going to come out of her pussy. <laughs> you did it! Oh, wait a second. No, you didn't. There's still, like, 30 minutes left in the movie. Be careful out there. No, the rest oh. of the movie is just them counting their money. He had a leg up on her on this one. Oh, out of all of his powers, he just used <laughs> Out of all of his magic, there he goes. I don't want to fall into the green screen. I hate sheets. Hang in there. Wow. He beat me to it. They're not going to actually physically go help her. They're just going to shout moral support from the other room. <laughs> Start reading from a self-help book. This is the worst fucking military operation I've ever seen in my life. The biggest group of pussies on screen ever. His leprechaun powers are amazing, just taking one finger up at a time. They secretly wanted her dead. Well, yeah, because now they, now they have to split the money one less way. It was actually a great financial decision on their part. I bet he's feeling really good right now. He's, have, he's having to crouch over to get through a hallway. That's got to feel good. Very empowering uh, for right? once in his life. Yeah. yeah. Actually, when I saw him, I thought this was uh, Die Hard in space. He was actually in one of the air vents. <laughs> That's space. the next movie, actually. Oh, yeah. The Die Hard movie. versus Leprechaun? No, Die Hard in space. <laughs> in space, no one can hear you die hard. <laughs> Leprechaun, I want to know where my detonators are. Well, I want to know where my gold is. And I want to know where my mitten hand is. <laughs> no, he's like, I want to know where my penis is. <laughs> we grow it. <laughs> Do as I so say. Say so. Had to watch this movie with, uh, do a uh, drinking game with, uh, Slasher Pepper. Check out Slasher Pepper on YouTube. Look at the drinking game we did for this one, folks. Oh, what my was, God. What, you guys, every time he did what? You had, what was the game? Every t one of them was every time he talked to himself. <laughs> I can't remember all of it. Here's your, here's your squeeze it, sir. I got them to bring it back into production. Dude, that's... That's pretty thick, man. The, the, like what we saw on screen before was really watered down. That's like uh, that's almost like pudding that hasn't like hardened yet in the fridge. She's on her ellipsis. She's an alien, so it's a triple period. Rim, rim shot. I thought that was funny. This alien don't have periods. She has ellipsises. They took all my clothes. So he's a bisexual doctor, okay. 
I think he's just in favor of any type of ass he can get at any point. Pansexual. Yeah, he's he's a fluid. Well, now I'm not going to open the door. Dude, you just heard her talk in a, the voice of the monster. Even if you hadn't heard the leprechaun yet, that should have uh, <laughs> that should have been a red flag. She started talking Irish. Wait a minute. Where is the where is his thing? He just hit her with. <laughs> it's in his dick, I guess. What the hell? Oh, it's still there. His shillelaghs and his and the guy's shillelagh. He's half vacuum. Why doesn't he just turn the vacuum on and suck him up? He's he's part Dalek. Just exterminate him. Come on. Damn, that guy's sex life has to be uh, scary. And that's really dangerous if he wants to jerk off. He's going to slice the shit out of his hand, bud. I used to have a mitten hand, and I lost it. A dick? It's just a word! We ran a test. You've got cancer. Well, that did it. So, he's invincible then. Exactly. Why did he have to go up that guy's penis then to regenerate if he didn't have to do that later on? That's just how he gets his kicks. Oh my god, it's the weird science thing. He looks like a freaking Dick Tracy villain. <laughs> Flat face. <laughs> Shit, how am I going to use the bathroom now without my trusted pansexual assistant? Hurry, right, run down this, this set we've used seven times in the movie. I feel bad for Heather Graham here. Her career is really really flat now. Before she was on Scrubs. <clears throat> she sees she sees, she sees him with his ball gag in his mouth. What have you been doing while I've been asleep? <laughs> And how were you able to do it? Where did yeah, you stick where did you it? get the ball gag from? DNA, that's her blood, okay. Well, what else we got? Where are they blending it? They didn't mix it with anything. Oh. He, he's like a really big advocate for spiders, and that's why he's so upset right now. 
he works for PETA, and the Spider Wrangler is offset right now. So a spider, a scorpion, and her regenerated blood. Okay. <clears throat> Mitten spider. Good God, how how long is this hallway? <laughs> it's about as long as the freaking walkway from WrestleMania 3 when they had to use those carts to get to the ring. Yes. Next scene, we're going to see him in the carts. Yeah, it's Pontiac Silverdome. <laughs> Let me stick this about two feet behind your head. Irish squeeze-its. It's not me. You've not been a very good fiancé. Parental guidance suggested for this episode. Parental guidance suggested for every episode, let's be honest. Okay, fuck magic. He's just going to use a gun now. Don't shoot the mitten hand. So he, he like, since he's magic, he could, like, never run out of bullets if he wanted to. <laughs> Holy water just spilled on her. Let me get that water off of you with some acid. I mean, oh shit. What is the thing pulsating in the jar? It looks like an asshole. That's that's his ass. If he's even got one. Wait. Even if she is part of that royal family, we were informed earlier that family has no money whatsoever, so how are they going to, like, get revenge on them for killing her? They can't afford an army. He gave all, every penny to his loyal subjects, remember? Yeah, this this film has a lot of glaring potholes that I don't care to think too much about. <laughs> Why is he making that face? Did one of those sticks of dynamites go up his ass? I think I think one of the sticks of dynamites threw up his ass. Oh, this is bad. Nipples. What the hell is the point of the breast shot here, Josh? Listen, it's so bad. No, you're not a Leah was. And my pathetic titties. Can you take the stick of dynamite out of my arse, please? Did this movie get a theatrical release? No. <laughs> Thank God. If I oh man, I say this every episode, but if I paid for this thing and I went to this thing, oh my god. Here's the boob thing. Uh oh, Dr. McMahon's gone. It's just a shell of a Dalek now. It's a, it's a RT 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 R two D fuck R two don't give a shit. 
So he's like taking over this sergeant's mind. Why didn't he do that to all of them? Yeah, what does he need? He should have just possessed all of them. What does he need any any of them? Kill them. And that guy is getting in his steps for the day. He's going to hit 10,000 in no time. At least the leprechaun has somebody to talk to now. I think they were just here. Okay. Iron Man. Get ready, Alex. A okay. big what the fuck moment is I'm coming. Ready. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> this looks like the Max after dark. Thirty <laughs> first in Maine. I have no words. I'm afraid of being canceled. <laughs> He, he he identifies as a sergeant. He you no, know, he identifies as a B movie actor. The bad thing is, he even if he wanted to, he can only give him half head. Are they like a sitcom couple now, really? Where's the alien? That's his name, me? Neither can me and Alex. Who, the same person who did his eyebrows did the other gal's eyebrows. <laughs> He's got nunchucks. They're very deadly. The UK has banned them. Wait. Oh, it's mitt, Mittenhead. Space looks so weird. You can fuck? What did he say? A walk. Jeff Goldblum's in this movie? <laughs> Alright, that's it. I am not going to do another scene of this, of this film. I'm done. He just scratched his nuts. Does he still have the dynamite up his ass? You better be careful. I know, right? Okay. That's more than I needed to see. Hope a leprechaun don't come out. Or an alien. Or a creature. Oh, because he drank a spider and a fucking scorpion. With, with her DNA. And stuff. Did he, did he catch a fly? What was that? There's fly spaceship. Is he pissed off because his nail polish doesn't match his dress? Kill, kill, kill. Please buy my pillows. We can handle this. This has happened before. <laughs> <laughs> There's protocol for this. Protocol we, have, we have this written down in the handbook. Sarge has done this before. We can handle this.
Use your why see I have to type shit in. He can just go wall. Protocol sixteen when your sergeant suddenly becomes transgender and starts kicking your ass. Yeah, wait. It's in the cliff's notes. It's like when your sergeant becomes transgendered and goes crazy and has dynamite stuck up his ass, what do you do? Wait, how was he possessed if he wasn't even alive? <laughs> okay, so it's okay that you killed him. That looked nothing like him. Well, it's not fair. If he, yeah, he's he was the best marine. He's a fucking robot. Does get tired? That's not fair. He just said, "Off with you, off with their heads." Wow. Beat me to another dad joke. No, I thought we were going to stay here and blow up with the ship. Good thing you became a marine. You know, it'd be awesome, Josh, is if we saw the scene. Of Carnosaur, where he's got the piece of heavy equipment and he's battling, he starts battling the leprechaun with it. Oh my god. Space flies. I just feel bad for the guy having to put all that shit on his face. I know, especially for whatever he got paid for this film. He's in a fucking hover round uh, the entire film, and then he has to become a scorpion spider the next part of the film. Like, he's in all this shit for literally scale. Making nothing. That is cardboard. Where did Where is he getting the flies at? I want to know where he's getting the flies at. Someone explain this to me in the comment section. Are there flies in space? That's funny that you think people are still watching this far into the episode, Josh. That's cute. It is St. Patty's Day. They kind of have to. Oh my god, they pulled that one. I wonder if the leprechaun's hair is actually his hair or if it's just like a Brett Michaels situation, like it's attached to the hat. <laughs> I can just see the leprechaun on Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> Will you be my leprechaun of love? Ooh, we're over halfway there. That's oh, Bon Jovi, my bad. <laughs> Look, guys, I know that I'm the character everybody expected to die already, and I'm really surprised I've made it this far, but I'm going to go try to save you guys, all right? Plus, I know that I saw that princess's space titties, and I know I'm going to die anyway. So I'm going to go try to see him one more time before I die and save you guys. Just pointing this out, it, the thing said self-destruct in 15 minutes, and there's 15 minutes left in the movie, so... it's It should be self-introspection in 15 minutes. Someone that's three foot nine... Uh, that's did she look at it because all I when I look up like that all I see is like my luscious long hair okay so mitten spiders been laying web Go ahead. No, he's he's all, what the hell? They haven't taken down the Halloween decorations yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's January. What the hell? It's November. So the lights he's looking out, out in space there, that's, that's, that's actually the Christmas lights ready for December. Oh, he just never, they never took them down. They just left them up all year round. <laughs> With the Halloween decorations, it's just easier that way. What the fuck happened to you? I got cast in this movie. He put some kind of weird CGI effect around it. 
or at least it's supposed to be a force field. At least that's what we're supposed to be imagining that it is right now. Because it's not let's, real and it's shitty. Let's go. Let's go find the alien creature thing that's not a leprechaun. Admit, kind of deal. Oh, I didn't realize that he was pissed. That I thought that was crumbs of like crumbs of pizza that was like left behind. He was pissed that there was no more food after the <laughs> Halloween party. She literally saw all of his gold at the beginning of the movie, and she's like, "This is all you have." Well, in her defense, she's been blacked out halfway through this film. Like, she passes in and out of consciousness so much, I can't keep track. Hey, he's the perfect height for her. <laughs> so you want me to go down on you, do you? Alex, one in four people. One in four people, herpes. Well, now she's not going to remember anything at all. Shit, that's like the fourth time she's been knocked out. Yeah, she's out for the count. He, so that's domestic violence, first of all. She shouldn't want to marry this son of a bitch. Well, Grundle Spider has a uh, Carnosaur 2's hero tied up in a Laffy Taffy. Is that what that is? I don't know. It looks like Spider Jizz. <laughs> spider Jizz, Spider Jizz. And here's the guy from freaking Springfield, Oregon. Did you read that caution sign back there? <laughs> what caution? Do not watch this film. Exactly. Yeah, this uh, the hero of the movie here is from Alex's hometown. Yeah, Springfield, Oregon. He's also been in Playgirl. Okay, he said hold it, and he immediately dropped everything in his hand. He doesn't listen very well. She, that, that lady next to him was like, I'm not, what? I thought we were getting along. Why are you calling me a bimbo from hell? I know. She looked at him like he was, the, like he was talking about her. That was her own insecurity right there. She wasn't <laughs> even talking about her. Super in the future, and they've got like, <laughs> look at the password system. The password is mitten hands. <laughs> Scorpion so, spider. His way of talking the leprechaun into letting him get away was uh, the whole ship's going to blow up. This this leprechaun has been blown up like ten times and reformed himself. I don't think he, he cares. Why are they even having a firefight with him at this point? They know they can't kill him. They should just be trying to escape at this point. Why doesn't the leprechaun just wave his hand and like snap their necks or something? I mean... His powers he's, are very inconsistent. <laughs> he's literally just picks and chooses what he wants to do at any given time. And he they better stay the hell away from that pan right there, because that's the same pan he used to make a fucking Dick Tracy villain earlier in the film. Yes, flat face. Yeah, they need to stay the hell away from that thing. That is the slowest trigger pull I've ever seen in my life. I know, she was like savoring that too. She was like really enjoying it. He's like, you better be nice to me or I'm not going to take you with me, you bimbo from hell. Oh, no, he's getting sucked back up into someone else's penis now. Oh, God, everybody's. Ah, ah, oh, no! It's the Viagra machine. They pixelated, they're pixelating him to death. It's getting worse and worse. He took so much Viagra that he's, his entire body is growing. Yeah, it got stuck in his throat, and he had a stiff neck for a week. <laughs> Instead of just his little leprechaun penis, it's his whole body of his arm. Oh, look at that. Okay, I got a question. I got yes. a question. He grows physically. His body does. He would have just ripped out of those clothes. <laughs> clothes wouldn't have grown with him. <laughs> Not all of them. It wasn't he would have just ripped through. Them. It should have only grown the part of his body that it hit. Yeah, this... Uh, okay, we gotta turn this movie off. I'm done. Master Evil wins. For, finally, he's won. Bingo card. Bingo. Leprechaun. Giant leprechaun penis. I win. That was the Slash Tracks bingo card. Mitten Spider's gotten around this ship, man. They really need to do some dusting on this spaceship. 
Halloween uh, decorations uh, everywhere. Yeah, it looks like an episode of Roseanne in October. G.I. Squirt, was that his name whenever he was the Playgirl of the Month? G.I. Squirt, the only thing he's holding, he's not holding the gun, he's holding his cock in a gun. <laughs> Is it wet? Thing is, that's not that's actually not the first time a giant man spider scorpion has grabbed her. She's had experience. Protocol yes. seventeen. She didn't really look that thrown off by that. So yeah, she definitely has experience in that. And it, it, does that guy have assless chaps on? Did he? What the hell is he wearing? <laughs> he, he showed up from his uh, playgirl shoot that day. What looks like didn't the ass cheeks were showing? Him. No, I I saw that wrong. I apologize. <laughs> You're just imagining it. I'm just imagining what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay, it looks like she's crawling through the exact same place she went in a second ago. He likes to decorate his, He takes his Halloween decorations so seriously, he even decorates places that nobody's going to, like, see. Total destruction of your mind will commence in will commence in seven minutes. There's no I, way that I could just let that shit be on my shoulder. That would gross me out so bad. I would have that off me in like five seconds. Come on, man! I should have died fifteen minutes into this movie. Help me out! I've made it this far. I guess uh, becoming giant means you lose the sense of feeling in your hand. He had to check. Is he? Is Warwick Davis picking up Legos for this scene? Is that what it is? Exactly. Was he picking up Roblox? <laughs> we have some spider. One hell of a marine outfit she's wearing there. Oh, she's running by <laughs> that standard uh, standard garb right there. It looked like she was running like on a Baywatch beach right there. Just imagine how small all those boxes have to be that he was walking by. No, I think it's perfectly normal that you're just hanging from shit. <laughs> Man, this, this guy, poor like, guy, oh, make this up. guy is oh going for the Oscar, man. I hope he got paid good for all he had to be put into for this film. Okay, I'm not trying to be a 12 year old, but why does that laser have to look like uh, that rocket that dude shot into space? The cockpit. That's by design, absolutely. It's designed like that so you would ask that question. So I guess they also uh, put in the DNA of a switchblade knife into that mixture earlier. I think all the budget for this movie went into Mitten Spider. That's the POV of her trying to get away from her agent who's trying to show her the script. At this point in Miguel's career, he's like, fuck it, I don't need to read the script. I I'm signed on, you got me. I know, poor had, Miguel, man. The, the mid-90s were not kind to him. You had me at part four in space. Okay, dude. He has been checking this cargo room for a long time. <laughs> I'm surprised Miguel didn't say, Bust the spot in the damn head! <laughs> Goddamn scorpion enchiladas! <laughs> They really went there. Wow. Are you really sorry? The guy was a villain. He was the biggest dick. He was the worst dick in the Leprechaun. Well, what she doesn't realize is that there was some liquid metal that was also in that blender, and he's just going to reform. Okay. He's yeah. T2. Yeah, he's just going to... Have you all seen that this <laughs> Yeah, the spider, the, the scorpion tail is just going to form back onto the body. Come on now. We got three minutes to abandon ship, Alex. We got to go. Oh, 
Okay, guards. She. How does she have guards if her royal family is penniless? They. They are not like technically penniless. They're just like cash poor. All their wealth goes into running the empire. Oh, they're the Trumps. Okay. Yeah, they just have enough to like keep up appearances and stuff. That's Ivanka. If that's Ivanka, that's, that explains why she wants to sleep with the leprechaun, then. <laughs> I know, they got Donald to be in the movie. Yeah, there he is, and it's free. Feature film debut, Donald Trump! Also seen in such starring roles as Home Alone 2 for two seconds. Now I'll get you, because the door, the door closes. Now I got you. Okay, she's passed out. Is that number seven? Dude, the scariest thing about this film is that flesh wound on his shoulder. If he doesn't clean that out, that thing's going to get infected. Well, Leprechaun is going to take a flight, apparently. Wow. <laughs> How did this not win Academy Award for, like, Best Special Effects? 97. I don't even think it got nominated for a Golden Raspberry. I think they just disregarded that this thing even existed. Do you do realize you, you never married him? And his gold probably went with him, but okay. He's still got that shit all over his arm and his shoulder and his back. He need that that's bothering me really bad. Hey Take Alex. That off. Guess the password. Try scientist. Did that not work? Try professor. Marianne. A B C one two three. Miguel looks like he's covered in shit that you'd put in a crab ring uh <laughs> to catch crabs with. Under pressure. In the future, there's no lockout after a certain amount of guesses? Well, they'd send you a a one-time code to your cell phone. (laughs) Future cell phone. Password accepted. Now for secondary confirmation. (laughs) Dude, we he just, just texted you a code. <laughs> Miguel just touched his face in relief with that shit all over his arm. Yes, thank you. That I think that is from the filmmakers to the people who watched it. That's a big fuck you to all of us. That's a fuck you to the audience. <laughs> exactly. That, you that, fucking, that was to us. You paid to watch this piece of shit. Fuck. You. Fuck the crowd. Fuck everybody who finances film. Fuck the director. Fuck the producer. Fuck everybody involved. Fuck Brent Jasmer. Fuck Jessica Collins. Fuck, fuck Gary guys. Davis. Fuck Gary Grossman. Fuck you, Rebecca Carlton. Not Miguel Nunez Jr. because he was cool enough to do our little shout out thing. But fuck Debbie Dunning. Fuck Michael Canizo. Nick Peters there. Gerard Dinardini can just fuck right off. You know what? Carol Carol Ogahara, she's a bitch anyway, so... Yeah, Neil, O'Sull- Neil O'Sullivan. Why don't you take Amy C. Wise and go fuck yourself? So they named their swing Neil O'Sullivan? I guarantee half the names you're reading right now are pseudonames. They're not real names. There's nobody that put their name to this pile of shit. I thought the credits didn't have any music there for a second. I was like, they didn't even try. Oh, man. Boom so operator. Did, so did they just, wa- at the end of this, like, when they watched this film and editing was done and they put the score to it and everything, they just... I'd really like to know what was going through their minds. The people that were in this film, like, well, oh, they, that was pretty good. They had James Slim Jim Ballard, you know, as the key grips, so they had it together, man. They they, they had some badass people. They, they, pro- they, they were probably proud of it because of Slim Jim, uh, you know, being in the key grip. 
Rocco Dino Denibles craft service provided by Rocco Denibles or whatever the fuck. So did did uh, Ostro Catering uh, cater all that nasty shit that was all over Miguel at the end? I don't know, but it, that that looked like leftover Freddy Krueger makeup that, that they just like. Well, we got this. Like we just put this on his body, got it for free from like Dream Child. It said Animal Wrangler. Was that for that little ghouly thing at the beginning of the movie, or the spider and the scorpion? Probably the spider and the scorpion. Okay, that sounds like an old story, you know, an old fable. The spider and the scorpion. So a spider, a scorpion, a mitten hand, and a leprechaun from hell walked into a bar. <laughs> okay, I seriously doubt that this show had an auditor. If they did, it would have never got released. The legal assistant, legal services by Robert Oppenheim and Karen Pine are like, we, we have to advise you, we have to advise against releasing this film. Why? It's just legally... Legally, we can't allow you to release such a shitter on the public. People will be killing themselves after they realize they paid to see this film. Special travel arrangements provided by Worldview Travel to get everybody in this movie the fuck out of America before it was or released on video. Or get everyone in this movie out of Hollywood because their career is fucking done, son. Special thanks to all these people here for actually taking part in this movie. Crazy for the guy who had the, the fucking guts to sit through this shitter. Who is the one song in the movie? You. Who the hell financed this thing? All right, man. Even worse than this shit, we got to go back to uh, see what the evils are up to. And your little rodeo clown. Um, Actually looking forward to it at this point. Yeah, I think I, I think I would rather go through that torture than another second of this. So, I think Trimark... See. Trimark Pictures needs to change, change their name to Try Better Pictures. <laughs> yes, thank you. Try harder, you fuck. Wow, shitty movie, but we made it. It didn't break us. And what? This is try number 26. And actually, you know what? It's 27 if you count that shitty Carnosaur double feature that me and Alex had to watch back in the day. Josh, will you never learn to, to not antagonize the guy who controls our entire lives and our destinies? And he's also holding us prisoner every day? God damn it. Shit. My bad, man. My bad. It just happens. That's my blunder, dog. I just can't help it. It just pops in there and pops out. I, my bad. Well, after I'm done, it will be the other way around. You see, while you two were watching Leprechaun in Space, I was preparing my revenge for how you invaded my privacy earlier by going through my computer. Ha! I have perfected the Freaky Friday machine name pending. And now I will it will work perfectly. Rodeo Clown, I sent you the switch and the instructions. Are you ready over there? Well, I got the switch, but I uh, don't see any instructions. But I graduated clown school. I can do this. Don't you dare. Just don't set the switch to seven and we will be fine. What was that? Set it to seven? Yes, sir! No! <laughs> did it work? No, it didn't work! Alex, did, just so everybody at home can follow, did you get turned into the rodeo clown and the rodeo clown got put into your body? Yes, damn it, yes, I'm in the barrel and there's something wet in here. Oh, God, what is that smell? <laughs> A clown never tells! <laughs> and, the, and the switch is in whatever this is! Is it ruined? Damn it, Royal Clown, that's it! You are gone for good this time! Get out! I don't want to, I don't even care that you have my body. I want you gone! But, but Alex! 
Yellow diamonds in the sky. Now I'm dancing. Ho 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 ho! Night. We fell in love in a ho 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 We fell in love in a ho 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 Even in my body, you saw the way with that beautiful singing voice. Fine, you can stay. We will figure this out. Uh, Master Evil, just to clarify for the audience and, and for me, are you going to switch Alex back into his body and the rodeo clown back into the clown's body? And can you do this without fucking things up even worse? Son, we can send Sister Evil in to retrieve the switch. I'm not digging through that filth. Me neither. You know what? It's close enough. Good night. <laughs> oh boy, that's totally fine with me, fellas. What? Bullshit! Don't you dare end the show. Switch it back in front of Alex Slash Track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. But seriously, can you find something to free us, please? Ah. Uh, Anything? Sorry, guys. I hit this. <laughs> Find something. <laughs> Let me. Oh shit! Sorry, Alex. Um, I didn't have enough time to save us. You had plenty of time to save us. You spent your entire time as Master Evil, setting him up for one-liners and making fun of him at his. <laughs> shit. Sorry. <laughs> This film wasn't even a leprechaun movie. It was a shitty alien ripoff film that Trimark sh shoehorned into the leprechaun. This film wasn't even a leprechaun movie. It was a shitty alien ripoff film that Trimark shoehorned into the leprechaun. God damn it. Hey, okay, here we go again. Okay. This film wasn't even a leprechaun movie. It was a shitty alien ripoff that Trimark shoehorned the leprechaun into for some ungodly reason. Well, after I'm done with you... God damn it. Well, after I'm done, it will be the other way around. Alex, did you get turned into the rodeo clown and the rodeo clown got turned into you? Yes! Damn it, yes! And I'm in the barrel and there's something way here. Oh god, what is that smell? <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I fucking did. And then I'm in the barrel, and there's something wet in here. Oh god, what is that smell? <laughs> Tom Bell. God. Hey, God, God. My bad. You're the one that broke that time. I broke, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, I've got it this time. Damn yeah, it, yes, and I, I'm in the barrel, and there's something wet here. Oh god, what is that smell? <laughs> a cloud never dies! God, what the hell? Time out. Yes, damn it, yes, I'm in the barrel and there's something wet here. Oh god, what is that smell? <laughs> a cloud never dies! And the, and the switches in whatever this is! It's a Time out. I'm out. I can't. I can't hear. Sorry. I'll do. I'll do mine one more time. Here we go. Can you be just a little bit louder? I'm sorry. Get your act together. <laughs> now that we're not filming, Alex Rodeo Clown. What? What is the nasty stuff in the barrel? <laughs> oh, never stop! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why is he fucking shit? I don't 
don't have to laugh every five seconds of the day, too. I never revealed my secret hand! <laughs> <laughs> clown never tells. <laughs> it's clown shit! <laughs> oh my god! It's clown shit! Comment, subscribe, and check out these past episodes of the Slash Tracks. I'm in most of them, I'd say. Uh, there's one, and there's one, and there's one.